we're setting out on an epic European road trip. You know, the kind you dream of but never actually take. We started a few days ago after landing in Bilbao, Spain, and headed up to San Sebastian. Boy, did it meet the hype. Oh, I can't tell if it was. It's on. But after a couple nights on the Spanish coast eating tapas, our thoughts turned to baguettes and wine, and some really special lodging fit for royalty and celebrities. And it only cost us like 10 bucks, thanks to the help of some credit card points. We hit the road again, heading 45 minutes up the coast for a change of scenery and language. On our way to Biarritz for our ridiculous hotel that Carrie is very excited about. I am. I am excited. To be honest, this stop on our journey was Carrie's choice. Prior to this, I'd never heard of this coastal French town of 24,000 people. And odds are, unless you're an avid surfer or live in Europe, you haven't either. Now, we've been dating a year and thought this trip would be a cool way to celebrate by doing something a little special. Mr. Positive. Yes, onward. And what could be a more special celebration than staying in a French palace? Turn left onto Avenue Joseph Petit Vent. You heard that right. As we head into the heart of town, closer to the water, the palm trees and fancy shopping give us the idea that Biarritz might live up to its name. Well, we have a reservation for today. Then we pull up to our accommodations in town, make our way through the gated entrance, up the Richie Rich driveway to the Hotel du Palais. Thank you, credit card points. Fancy. <laughs> it's like, who the f are you he's guys? like, why are you guys like videoing? This is like, really. He's like, we don't do that here. We're really holy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, sorry, I had to bleep out the swearing there. We're a little early for check-in, so we'll be back to this in a few minutes. So, what do you think of this place? It's really nice. Yeah. Kind of crazy. It's huge. I do expect you're like, we need your reservation I mean, to pass the gate. <laughs> I get the feeling Carrie is pretty happy about this. You know what's funny is like some places you don't, they're not as pictured. Like they look so nice, yeah. you know, but this actually lived two or so far. Yeah. Time to check this town out. One of the first things you notice is the sheer volumes of surfers. It's like there's some surf lessons going on in there. With the constant barrage of waves, clearly this is their spot. Down we go to go on the rock. We've been in France almost an hour. We haven't had wine yet. This is weird. Wow. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. The scenery is quite breathtaking. The mussels were pretty amazing, too. Then we head further down the coastline to get a better view of the area. And I can see our hotel from here. You can see our hotel from pretty much. Out on Rocher de la Vierge or Rock of the Virgin Mary for us non-French speakers. Sorry to butcher that to you French, by the way. What is that? Looks like a Virgin Mary, yeah. Definitely makes more sense now. It provided a scene that hits you harder than the waves crashing on the rocks. Wander past the aquarium away from the beach and you find the town is just littered with fancy shops and boutiques. One of us may be more excited about that than the other. It's definitely a woman's dream situation here. You can't yeah. for us to buy sneakers. <laughs> I know. Well, I liked them though. What else do I absolutely need? I don't know. I begin like going insane right now. <laughs> trying to control myself. After a little more browsing in the trendy shops and a s'more on a stick, it's time to get back to the hotel. Perry's Palace. One of our rooms is being teeny tiny. And enjoy the royal treatment. It's like really gorgeous. Look at the TV. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? This is kind of ridiculous. This is so beautiful. Like, I love this like wallpaper, you know? Now, some history on the Hotel du Palais. It was originally built by Napoleon III and Empress Eugenie 
back in the 1850s as a summer villa. Now, back then, it was called the Villa Eugenie. It was later turned into a hotel and the spot for European royalty and celebrities to stay. Sinatra, Coco Chanel, Ava Gardner, and a couple of others whose names would adorn the doors here, just to name a few. The Duchess of Windsor. Maybe she stayed there. <laughs> that is not like a sweet fit for a king and queen. I want like everything that says spirit. But enough of the royals. Back to us. I'm glad we did that. <laughs> because a four-story spot is just the way to unwind during a road trip. We'll get back to you after a long soak. So happy this ritzy stop was added to our journey. I know the French Riviera is the coast that gets the most love, but the French Basque Country definitely should too. In a couple weeks on this channel, we keep driving north to wine country. Hope you'll check back then.